Today we are going to take a look inside the Cambridge Soundworks 4 point surround sound system. So let's see what we have inside. And this is inside it. I've already removed the woofer which is over there. Very decent speaker actually. Claims 4 ohms, 20 watts. And this is inside. You can see two big heat sinks here. And there are the two. There's one of the amplifier chips. And this should be the other amplifier chip. There it is. Now, I don't know what's under this big piece of plastic here, but the reason why I've taken this apart is because it decided it doesn't want to work anymore. Uh, speakers keep cutting out, so I um, hit it, and um, so, you know, one speaker cuts out, so I hit it, and um, it comes back on, then the other speaker cuts out, and I'm just absolutely fed up with it. So, yeah. So, this is why I've taken it apart. Actually, I threw it against the wall because I just lost my rag with it, and I do have... Well, I'm a bit of shame of it, actually, but I do have really raging tempers at times. I just threw this against the wall. You can see where it's pitted the wall there because I just got so angry with it, but that's why it's open, because it just cracked open. Um, it looks like the circuit board has cracked here. I don't know if it was bef like that before. If it was, that obviously would explain why the sound kept cutting out, or that might have got that way because I was got so angry with it. Let's see what's under this um, piece of plastic here before my camera battery runs out. I think this might be where the amplifier for the woofer is, but we'll soon see. I know there is no um, amplifier chip for the woofer, which is what I thought I'd find there. So it's obviously powered on these chips somehow. Unless the amplifier is on the other side of the circuit board. At least I'll have no problem getting those screws out because these screws are so far in. I'll just put the camera's light on and risk even further battery Actually, you cannot really see in there. Might be able to see how far down that screw is. So there's no um, no way I can get a screwdriver in there to undo those screws. I need a really long one, which I don't have. Anyway, let's see what's on the other side of this board. It only seems to be held in with two screws. Should be able to lift it out now. Let's see, nope, the other side is just plain. Oh yeah, that is really broken there, you can see that. Now we can see inside that little cupboard up bit, the, um, I've taken the nut out and there was also a screw holding this in. And uh, it's just a plate bit that fell off while I had the, um, while I was taking the screw out. So we should be able to pull this out now. Take a look at it. Hmm, there's a fuse there, it's fuse protected, so that's pretty good. There's four capacitors there, which I think are the um, speaker capacitors, very small capacitors actually. Um, 470 microfarad, which is a bit ridiculous. If I was building this I'd put some much larger capacitors in there. And now I can get the board, all the boards out. So I'll see if I can repair this or do something else with it. Let's see what the chips are. 
we can just get the camera onto it. No, it doesn't look like the camera's going to focus. They apparently are the a TDA 7972A. So I'd imagine the other chip is the same. It is. Oh, there it is. Wait, no, it isn't. This one is a creative CI. 1975SAM. Well, I found the data sheet for one of the chips, the TDA 7372A, and it seems to have a very simple application circuit. If I can just scroll down so you can see it. As you can see there, that's a very simple um, circuit. I think even I could build that without any, um, without any screw ups. And the chip's got quite a lot of protection on it, so should something short out, the chip won't fry. But I haven't had as much luck looking for the um, data sheet for the other chip. It's the first uh, result in my um, search. I found plenty of places where you can buy the chip, but no data sheets. For instance, to go to this data sheet here, and it doesn't give you a data sheet at all, it just gives you a links, links to data sheets for other chips for some reason. Oh, the microwave is just finished, so my dinner's ready. There's another site right here. There's another place where you could actually buy the chip, but if I click on one of these links, say this one here, well, for some reason that link doesn't work, but um, this link here, if I click that, or in fact any of these black links, absolutely nothing shows up on the screen. It just stays white. With my modem, you can see none, no lights are flashing, so it's not loading anything. I probably won't be using that chip anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now, I'm not going to try to repair this, because taking a close look at the circuit board, you can see it's, well, it's got some horrendous cracks in there. Of course, you would be able to see it if my camera would actually focus. I don't know if you can actually see that, but uh, yeah, there's some... There we are, that's a bit better. Very bad crack there, it's just not worth repairing, so... I'm going to take the chips out and use them... ...and build a separate amplifier out of what's left of this. Well, I'm going to sit down and have my dinner now. Beef madras, one of my favourites.